I took one of my programs that I spent a decent amount of time with. I wrote a, a synthesizer completely from scratch. Sine waves, this kind of thing, and could play this. And even the video that you're seeing from that is actually Adobe Audition. So my program just output the sound. I took ChatGPT5, GPT5, which is amazing at code generation. Next level all the way. And I said, here's my code. Show me up. Show me what you can create with this kind of a thing. And I didn't even give it all the, simula uh, the synthesizer code to do the filters, the LFOs, all that kind of fun stuff that synthesizers do. And I told it to show me up, and here's what it did. Yeah, ChatGPT5, GPT5, basically created a piano keyboard, an oscilloscope, and even basic staff sort of music. If I worked with it, I bet I could have it use some sort of a music engraving and even have uh, your typical music like you like you might see for the actual song, Popcorn, that I'm playing here. So GPT-5 is truly amazing, in my opinion. It does some amazing things. If you look at just the interface that they give you now, you don't have a million different models. I've got a couple here because I've got the Pro Edition of, of ChatGPT, but the advantage here is you don't have to be dealing with all these other models like you had before, which one is good at what. You just ask it the question. It'll get back to you quickly if you asked it something simple or if it needs to reason, and I was using Pro Reasoning here, to create my synthesizer. And all I did was I just kind of stroked its ego and said, hey, show me up. Show me what you can do, ChatGPT. So I'm very impressed with that. The, the, the new coding capabilities of this are absolutely next level. And if you're putting it into something like cursor or VS Code type environment, then certainly it can do a lot over a lot of different files. Whereas this one, I was having to just render an individual file. So just wanted to give you some of my first impressions of GPT-5. It just came out yesterday. What do you think? Have you been doing code generation with it? I think it's really, really powerful here. They claim that it can do PhD sort of level research on other things. I have not really tried it on having a research and prove out something for me yet, but on code generation, I'm really impressed.